working Americans here in Colorado are fed up with the status quo. They understand that Michael Bennett's solely responsible for voting for a $1.9 trillion uh, rescue plan that caused this inflation. They know that Joe Biden and Michael Bennett are the ones that have crushed the oil and gas industries across the nation. They know that the Democrats are the ones that have gutted and demoralized our police forces. What people are talking about is inflation. They're talking about price of gas. They're talking about groceries at an all-time high. And they're especially interested in Colorado in uh, uh, the hike in crime that we've seen here in the last two years. So it's made people really feel unsecure. Um, they're worried about their kids. They're worried about their communities. And those are the issues that are making a big difference to working Americans. He's in favor of late term abortion on demand uh, up until the day of birth. In Colorado, they're paying $4.50 for gasoline, so people, we need to be able to have a conversation with them about what's caused this, this, the supply chain issues that we're confronting as a result of coming back from COVID, the energy prices that we're confronting as a result of the economy getting much better, and then Putin invading Ukraine. My opponent in this race, he opposes the, uh, the law that we've passed in Colorado to codify a woman's right to, to choose. First five months, that's between a woman and her doctor, and after that, rape, incest. Uh, life of the mother, those those are important issues that are between a woman and her doctor. The Hispanic population uh, in the electorate here is 23% of Colorado. They're an important voice. Uh, they're part of my family. My wife is Hispanic. Uh, her uh, grandfather immigrated here in Mexico back in the 50s. They have the same concerns, if not on steroids, about this crime uh, that is taking over their neighborhoods. We've got fentanyl all time high coming up in here to our communities, drug trafficking, uh, human trafficking. This is a real concern to the Hispanic community. Last year, we, lo we lost 1,800 Coloradans to drug overdose. And so I really feel like the, the Democratic Party is out of touch on this issue. Um, here they're complaining about flying some immigrants to uh, Martha's Vineyard to gain attention about an issue that's killing our kids. We need to take the 87,000 IRS bureaucrats that they funded through the Inflation Reduction Act, and instead of growing another department to shake down working Americans, we need to take that money, we need to use that money to secure our border, hire more border agents. In addition to that, I would take some of that money and I would put it into our local uh, police departments, our, our state troopers, and, and we need more cops on the ground to get this crime under control. We've got to grow our overall energy here in Colorado and across the United States. We need to promote wind, solar, nuclear, geothermal, good clean uh, natural gas, and we need to get permitting out of the way. I will bring solutions that help to lower the cost of fuel, lower the cost of groceries, and get this crime back under control. Michael Bennett's incapable of that. He's been there 13 years and he's caused the problem.